Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to be tackling my handbag collection. I asked you guys to go ahead and vote in my last decluttering video and handbags won. So that's what we are going to go ahead and tackle today. I have this big box right here which is, is a 66 quart storage container. Um, this is pretty much filled with bags. Um, I'm sure we're gonna find a couple that I forgot I even had, but for the most part I think I know like what I have in here. Um, additionally, we have some bags on the floor. As you can see here, I have a couple. These are ones that I've used more recently. That's why they're off to the side there, um, and they haven't been locked away in the little storage container. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go through this. The big mission for today is whether I'm keeping it or getting rid of it. I am going to go through each and every handbag to make sure it is completely empty. Even the ones that I like currently use, like this one has been my go-to bag. This one is by Michael Kors. I went ahead and I believe I picked this one up from Macy's um, about a year or so ago. And I want to say it was around like $120 or something like that. I liked it because it's a smaller bag, but it also does give you that shoulder crossbody option or you can just carry it by the smaller handles. I absolutely live for the gold hardware and I'll explain to you guys in a second why I ended up getting this one. But as you can see in here, since this is my most current bag, we have my wallet and then we have like endless amounts of paper and lipsticks and pills and receipts and who knows what. So I do want to go ahead and clean out all of my purses so that they are squeaky clean and I can also get a better inventory on you know what I own like I know I am notorious for going through and having a bunch of different pill bottles and like I buy one and then I end up buying another and I just end up having way too much of everything because purses can kind of be a like a catch-all so um that's why it's really important to go ahead and have one bag or maybe two bags but each time you use it go ahead and make sure you clean everything out that way you don't end up having six different purses and then six different chopsticks to go with those six different purses because that's just in excess so we're gonna go ahead and tackle this box in here first Oh my goodness, I can already see some. <laughs> so this bag right here is a vintage Dooney and Burke um, little shoulder bag. I actually went ahead and I purchased this off eBay and I think this is such a fun bag. I was obsessed with this, this design when they first came out years ago. I want to say this style came out when I was in like middle school, so well over 12 years ago. Um, actually even maybe closer to about 15 years ago now. Um, this style was out and I really liked it and I just thought this was a really fun bag. Although I didn't wear it a whole lot after I purchased it because I went ahead and I bought this. It had to have been like really late at night. Um, and I thought this was like a crossbody strap and it wasn't. And so it's not exactly what I was looking for. I would have much rather this be a crossbody bag. Um, so I guess that's why I haven't really reached for it too much, but it is kind of fun, so I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in the maybe pile, but I have a feeling I may end up passing on. This bag right here, I absolutely love. My mom went ahead and got this for me for my birthday one year. It's by the brand Elliot Luca, and this is an all leather bag. But I just love how it's like woven and it's this really big like a bucket style. Although a lot of the metallic part of it is actually starting to wear off. And some of the basket weave like came undone. But nonetheless though, I mean looking at it up close or you know if it was just on my body, it's still a really beautiful bag. And I actually forgot how much I love this because it catches everything. It has a ton of storage. It has a ton of storage compartments and yeah so this one is actually empty right now so we don't need to go through it so I am definitely going to go ahead and hang on to this one because now that I am subbing um, at the schools and everything like that I do keep like a little um, it's more like my emergency bag like in case teachers don't leave assignments or just the various paperwork that I need to remember at all the different schools I substitute at so yeah, I am going to go ahead and keep this and this would actually make a really nice bag. So yeah. 
Then here we have this coach wristlet and for me I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to it because when I was in middle school I went ahead and I really wanted a coach bag and this was the first thing that my mom ever got for me um, as far as like high-end or like designer more or less which I don't even know coach I don't think is considered like designer really but maybe like name brand I don't really know what you want to like categorize it in but um, yeah so she got this for me and I wore this for so many years and to this day I still love it and I really appreciate it so for days where I just need to throw a little bit of you know like my card my phone you know and everything in there and I don't need like a whole bag um, I am gonna go ahead and hang on to this Then this next bag is another Coach bag. Most of the bags that I own are going to be either Coach or Michael Kors. Those are probably like my two favorites. Um, and this one, I'm not sure where I got it. I think I got it from the Coach Outlet store, but I used to wear this so much. And the reason why I like it is because it's, um, it's like a plastic. So here in Florida, if I get caught in the rain, it's not going to ruin my bag. But I used to wear this so much, and I do genuinely enjoy it. Although it's not something I'm really going to reach for anytime soon. So I am going to go ahead and pass it on. Then this purse right here is another Dunienberg. I didn't buy this. This one um, was actually just handed down to me from my mom. But... I don't really foresee myself using this one, honestly. It's a really beautifully built um, Dooney and Burke bag. I love the two-toned on it. However, it's just not really my style. And it is pretty heavy. And I've really been gravitating more towards lighter bags because if they are on my shoulders for an extended period of time, we all know what it's like to carry a heavy purse and then your shoulder hurts, your neck hurts, and it's just not a good time. Here we have a all brown coach bag and I'm not sure what this style is called, but once again, I remember I wore this so much. I think it's, is this called like a little hobo bag? I'm not exactly sure what this style is called but um definitely an older style not something i would necessarily wear right now i did love it when i first owned it but um i am gonna go ahead and pass on this then we have a michael kors i don't even know what is on here oh no but i have a michael kors crossbody i forgot what material this is made out of but apparently it's like is it called neoprene? I, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I think it's like that same kind of material that like a scuba suit would be made out of. Um, so it is water resistant and honestly you guys may think it's crazy that I'm sitting here and constantly saying, oh, it's like water resistant, but I cannot even tell you how many times I've been caught in the rain without an umbrella or even if I do have an umbrella, it doesn't do anything because the rain is coming down sideways and then my purse ends up getting soaked. And depending on like the type of leather, or fabric your purse is made out of like the rain can stain it so that's why um you know whether or not it does good in rain is important to me so i am gonna go ahead and keep this i do wear it often whenever i go to art shows or i'm doing any sort of like outside activity and i don't really need like one of my fancier bags i do go ahead and bring this then this one right here is another coach bag, classic coach with the C's fabric. I wore this for years. The inside is all dirty and gross. But um, yeah, although I do, you know, I did appreciate this. I did love it when I would wear it. I do prefer um, some of my other black bags. And as you'll see, I think I do, I think black is the one that I have the most of just because I feel like it goes with everything. However, um, I just don't really see myself wearing this style anymore. And I have another bag that I would use that's like close enough in shape where I would go ahead and use that instead. Here we have this beautiful silver, it's supposed to be like an alligator print, it's not an actual alligator. 
um, bag from Coach, and I love this one. I remember I went ahead and I picked this up on vacation a few years ago, um, but I do love this style, and since I got rid of the um, last purse that's of a similar style, I am going to go ahead and hang on to this one because I also don't really have any silver bags, and I think this one is still really pretty, still really current and overall just a beautiful bag and I did enjoy wearing it. I just stopped wearing it because it was like one of those things where I was wearing it like all the time and then I ended up getting a new bag or something and I decided to, you know, put it away, give it a little break. Then this bag right here is a really nice bag. It's actually, believe it or not, it's from Express. And I love it because you can either wear it short or you can wear it long. And I am absolutely obsessed with anything quilted. I feel like it totally gives me a like Chanel kind of vibe. And for literally a fraction of the cost, I think this is still a really nice bag. And I am going to go ahead and hang on to this one because it is a little bit dressier, just a little bit more formal than the last. And then last but not least is this, um, it feels like silk, but I don't, it's not actual silk, but it's this really silky fabric coach bag. I love this. This used to be one of my favorites. I just think it is such a fun, colorful bag, and I don't really own any blue bags. Um, but, oh, score, we found some pens. What do you know? What else do we have in here? Cute. I have a little mirror, and I think... This used to actually like be filled with water. It's from Bath and Body Works, however, that all evaporated. But just a cute little handy penguin mirror. How adorable. And yeah, so that's everything in the pockets. But as much as I enjoyed this one, I am gonna go ahead and pass it on. But this will look so cute with, you know, just some jeans and like a solid color tee and just have this be like a pop of color. And I thoroughly enjoy like some of these like jewel tones for both summer and fall. So love this bag, but I am going to go ahead and pass it along. All right, so that is everything that's in this bin. We're gonna move on now to some of my other bags. Here we just have this really pretty um, fossil bag. My mom went ahead and got this for me when I graduated from college. So because of that, I am gonna go ahead and hang on to it. Plus I do love the bag. It's more of a recent addition. Um, to my collection and I do appreciate the fact that it does have the metal studs on the bottom But I am gonna go ahead and take out everything that's in here Apparently we have a tampon. You never know we're gonna need one of these a freaking wrapper for a granola bar some lip stuff and then a ticket from when I saw Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> like vintage this next bag is a Michael Kors one. Uh, this is, I honestly forgot what this bag is called. Do you think I would remember? Because I did work there for a very brief period. <laughs> like literally only two months because it was the worst company to work for. At least the store I did. They were just super cutthroat and like really fake. But I did manage to score a couple of nice deals out of there. I did purchase a watch while I was there and then this purse. Um, but I love it. It is this beautiful red color and up until that point I had never really owned like a full size um, like red bag and I just thought it was really elegant and very clean and I thought it'd be great for if I'm going anywhere and I have any important documents um, that I need to carry. I thought it was a perfect size to go ahead and fit a folder in. Um, and it's that nice, I believe they call this like Safiana leather. Um, so it's a special kind of leather so that if it gets wet or anything like that, it is water resistant and it works so well that I've actually, you can kind of see here at the bottom, it's like a little wrinkled more or less because I have actually like had a water bottle like open up and spill in here not once but twice you think I would have learned my lesson the first time but I didn't 
and the water didn't seep through the only reason why I knew my water like had spilled out was because I went ahead and I went the next day to go ahead and use it and I noticed that the whole inside was soaked so very durable bag I've carried this for years and this one is stuffed with a bunch of like random ass stuff we got some gummy vitamins in here we have some antacids we have some pain reliever mints a very old very crumbled oh my gosh like how gross am i <laughs> i don't even know this expired november 2017 okay like really Brittany? um yeah so just a bunch of random stuff so that's that bag so this stunning bag was actually a christmas gift one year and this is by the brand henry bendel and it's just this beautiful bucket bag and it has kind of like that um I forgot what the name was I think I just said it earlier but like that checkered was it like pillow I don't know but you can tell you know like that Chanel type detailing um I love this beautiful print and it's also been used recently so I do have a bunch of random stuff in there I can spot my Anastasia lip uh, stick that I've been looking for as well as a hand sanitizer more snacks so I am gonna go ahead and clean out my bags later on then this bag right here is also a Michael Kors bag um, I went ahead and got this as a birthday gift from my mom it's a really beautiful crossbody I wear it all the time it's actually one of my more everyday bags because you can wear it short or you can wear it long and I absolutely adore this color I think it is so stunning so I am gonna go ahead and hang on to this one then here we have this is just a little forever 21 um, bag I went ahead and I just picked this up when I was doing some traveling because one if I lost it or got stolen um, you know no big deal it's just like a forever 21 bag however this little thing can surprisingly fit a ton of stuff and once again, we have a ton of stuff in there. We got a hand cream, some little wipes. Let's see what movie I saw when I carry this bag. Um, Maze Runner from 2015. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I actually remember that movie. It was really good. So um, I am going to go ahead and hang on to this one just because like if I am doing anything where, you know, I'm going to be in big crowds and obviously not that I ever think my purse is going to get stolen, but you never know, I would much rather, you know, carry something like this. Then this is one of my favorite bags and this one is by Calvin Klein. This is definitely one of my more fancy bags. Um, I went ahead and picked it up at TJ Maxx for a steal and I just think it is seriously so beautiful. I absolutely live for this like pillowed, I don't know, leather. I honestly have no idea what this is called. And the gold detailing and I just love the little Calvin Klein embossing right up there at the front and yeah one of my favorites definitely hanging on to it then here we have this little bag this has kind of been like my travel bag um like whenever i'm going to the airport and i want something with a little more structure um i honestly just had to pick this one up in a pickle at target because i went ahead and i was using like another like cheap bag that was like one of those like gift with purchases or something from like Victoria's Secret or Express or I honestly don't even remember where but like as I'm at the airport I'm like wondering why do I have like all this white stuff all over me it's like flaking off almost like paint and what I hadn't realized is that um because my bag had been just sitting in my closet for a while it had white handles and it was literally disintegrating all over the place. So um, while I was in the middle of the trip in New Orleans, I just went ahead and picked this bag up real quick. So um, it's not one of my favorite bags, but I mean, I guess I'll just go get go ahead and hang on to it. Once again, on to the vintage Junium Burke. I saw this at a consignment shop and I felt like at the moment I just had to have it although I honestly don't reach for it nearly as much as I should because to be honest with you as cool as I wanted to be saying that like I'm this little thrifter and I found cool vintage stuff it's just really not my jam 
Um, I just don't have a cool enough style to like pull off of vintage stuff. So I do think I am going to go ahead and pass on this. But the leather on this and the quality is honestly unreal and it totally stands the test of time. But beautiful bag. Then last but not least, this is probably my most worn and favorite purse of all time, which is this stunning Michael Kors bag with this beautiful detailing all down here through the bottom. I had to stop wearing this, however, because I noticed the little buckle here because, I mean, it is my fault because I would use and abuse this bag. I mean, this thing, honestly, sometimes I swear had maybe like an upwards of 20 pounds in it. Like, it was insane, especially if I carried it to school or anything like that and had my textbook and binders in it. But surprisingly, like, none of the little um, nail heads here ever like fell off or anything like this it's a beautiful quality the only thing I wish they would have added was a zipper but for the longest time this has honestly just been sitting on my floor and it's kind of just been like a catch-all for just like random stuff that I don't even know what to do with like I used to tutor and I have like a first and second grade workbook which now um actually I'm kind of glad I have this because I'll just go ahead and use this when I'm subbing for those grades in case like the teacher didn't leave work or something. Um I have like a random book light which I've honestly looked for on like six different occasions and I could never find it and lo and behold here it is. <laughs> um and yeah so we just have a ton of crazy crazy things in here. We have a um 10 well slant palette kind of just been like sitting on my floor catching a whole bunch of like random shit which is honestly a disgrace that I am treating such a stunning bag like this and I am honestly ashamed of myself but I am gonna go ahead which I've told myself for months and months and months now I am gonna go ahead and take it to a shoemaker but now it's gonna be on top of my priority list I am gonna go ahead and take it to a shoemaker to see if he can maybe, he or she can maybe go ahead and fix the the tearing here. Cause all the other ones seem to be pretty intact. This one might be a little loose, but um, yeah, because this is honestly one of my favorite bags and I just love it. The work on it is just absolutely stunning. And once again, it's that hard Safiana leather. So this concludes my purse decluttering video here. I am getting rid of eight and keeping 12. So I did definitely declutter some, not as much as I wanted to, but I am a person who frequently switches out her purses and I do thoroughly enjoy the purses that I am keeping, which I think is very important. And yeah, so right now I'm just going to go ahead and go through, empty out all my purses, and then I'm going to go ahead and put smaller purses in the bigger ones so that all of them can fit back into this container where I am going to keep them just to go ahead and protect them from the elements like dust and whatnot. So yeah, that's about everything. I thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to talk to y'all in my next video. And definitely let me know down in the comments below what you guys would like for me to declutter next. Bye! So this is honestly disgusting because I went ahead and went through, I would say this is only three of my purses. I didn't go through my current purse, so the black and gold Michael Kors one, the one that I said just accumulated a bunch of stuff, the red one, and the Henry Bendel one. And those are really the only purses that had like a lot of stuff in there and I mean the stuff that I found I'm just like are you kidding me we have like cliff bars that I don't even know when these expire okay this was October of this year so that's not that bad <laughs> but um we just have like lip glosses lip liners I found a freaking toothbrush like really <laughs> um we have uh bite lipsticks I don't even think I used this one no I didn't like did I let me see no, it still has a label on it. So like brand new bite lipsticks are all up in my my bag here. We got pens. We have an endless supply of hair ties and hair clips. We have some alcohol prep wipes. I don't I don't even know why. Um one thing that I thought was really funny was I had so many sugar in the raws. I had like a whole handful of them. This is how you know I was a college student 
in a rush when I would go ahead and get my coffee because at this one place, um, they would just give it, they wouldn't add sugar to it. You would just tell them, you know, if you want cream or not. And then they would, but they wouldn't add the sugar for you for whatever reason. So you'd always have to go to the little sugar bar, but I didn't have time for that. So I'd always like just like have a handful of these. And whenever I got like a Starbucks drink, if it wasn't sweetened enough or at that one coffee place where they wouldn't sweeten it for you, um, I would just do it in class. <laughs> so always have these handy. I have some essential oil like roller balls. Um, I have de-stress and I have sleep but I believe this one leaks because there's quite a bit missing from it so that needs to be in a better place we have hand sanitizers a million chapsticks endless amounts of receipts and papers some hand sanitizers um like these cords I don't even know where these come from because this is like the old school um like 30 pin apple charger so i don't even know where or why i have this because we haven't been using 30 pin apple chargers in quite a while um little body spray a sock <laughs> another sock it's probably from when i did yoga in class um when i was in school i would hate walking on like the wood floors in the gym it just like creeped me out um, so yeah, I just thought I'd pop on here and show you my pile of shame. Most of it is, you know, this little charging box, uh, some MAC lipsticks. I found like three or four MAC lipsticks. I put them all in here. But yeah, pens, pencils, all sorts of crazy stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and sort through this, which obviously 95% of this is going to be tossed. But, um, when I decided to go ahead and do my decluttering series, I told you guys I was going to keep it raw and real, and this is as real as it gets. So, um, if you're still watching this and you're still subscribed to me, thank you for staying with me on this journey. And yeah, so this officially now wraps up my handbag declutter.